everybody. I have been trying different angles and I think I need to go back to my normal one so I know where I'm supposed to be looking. All right, today's business is my update for what's on deck. Now, I realize this isn't actually a collab project or anything that is anyone else is even doing. It's just something that I'm doing, but this is what I'm doing, so I'm doing a video. Oh my God, how many times can I say doing? Here's the deal. I decided I wanted to show some of my palettes some love. This is what I came up with to do it, and now I'm sharing it with you. I should probably just start that over. Yeah, you guys are used to me by now anyway, right? Hopefully. So here's the plan for today. Today, I'm gonna tell you what happened with what we started with, what I used, what I didn't, all that good stuff, and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm bringing in, and I'm also gonna tell you what I'm taking with me, because that's actually kind of more what this one's gonna be about just so we're clear. Okay, so I did use my Tarte Leave Your Mark. And holy mother of crackers, this thing is dry as a saltine. It is so boring, so, so boring. Now I know why I haven't been using it. I did use it and I think I had a different preference when I was still working and I was fine with all of the boring stuff, but I, yeah, it, I've gotten stuff that's so much better in the intervening time frame that it, it really is just boring, that may end up having to leave the collection. Now, I did use the new Viseart, oh lordy. Okay, this one is the Paris Etendu. And I think you can see, it's kind of dark and smoky and kind of a plummy, bluey color, and it wasn't bad. If I didn't suck at selfies, you'd actually get to see some of these looks, but I'm as good at selfies as I am at swatching. So you're not going to get to see looks with this kind of stuff unless I randomly find a picture and pop it in. But this is just more to let you know what's going on. Um, I did do Saturday Style. In fact, I think I might have filmed with it. This is the Laura Geller. So that at least got a little bit of use. So that's good. Didn't do Flirty, Flirty Friday, did not do the Midsummer by Viseart. I mean, I've used it in the past, so it wasn't like it was a huge thing whether I used that one this time or not. Didn't actually touch my NARS duo, which is surprising for me because this is one of my favorites of all time. Zareen, that gray, is astonishingly good. I just really haven't worn gray, apparently. At least not gray eyeshadow. I did use the BH Sugar Cone. I did use the, well, it was Alien, oh wow, ring light, Alien, when it was released, it is now on Earthly Cosmetics, the In the Dark collection, oh good lord, can I do this without blinding people? Okay, anyway, absolutely stunning, beautiful palette, love, love, love it, it's going to come home with me, even though I used it. Um, the BH Bubblegum palette. I did not use this time around. I have used it in the past. I mean, this has got one of my all-time favorite blues. I really love these right here, the darker, and this one's really pretty too. Now the rest of these, not, yeah, no, there's a, I can only use half the palette. The other half of it looks really, really bad on me, but I'm okay with that. I mean, I got it for a good price and I love half of it. I'm never going to do a no palette left behind with it, let's put it that way. Didn't get to either of the BH monthlies. We'll get to them. It'll happen. Um, she's in parties I've used frequently. That one actually is going back to Minnesota with me. Oh, also, that's my only melt palette. I did use the Necromancy Cosmetica A Gothic Romance. Still just think this thing is gorgeous. Love it. Did a nice blue and pink look with that. But this packaging, oh. And I don't even know what's right side up or upside down. This way, maybe? Either way. Absolutely wonderful, fabulous, and loved it. And impressed, because I only know Necromancy from their um, lipsticks. So really pleased with the eyeshadow. It held up really well for me. I did not get to my Linda Dazzle by Metamorphosis. which is your basic four color, you know, pink, blue, purple, green, um, a shimmer and a matte. It's going to go with me. I, 
I do like the metamorphosis stuff. And so this one is going to come with me because I do really want to play with this one a bit more. And I think it'd be a good companion palette too for some other things. And I have got, oh my, apparently I have shadow shedding because I've got what looks like dirt all over it. I'm betting anything that's from my melt palette. Onward. Because <laughs> you really care anyway. Um, so the premise behind this originally was going to be to try and cycle through my palettes using the number of pans in the palette corresponding with the month and then adding other things in for when I wasn't going to be here. So there are a couple of things I'm throwing in this month. One of them being my Baby Biba. This was the one that was in that Sephora set. The Natasha Denona in whatever the Christmas Sephora set was. I don't even remember what it was called. Um, but that's my three pan. So I'm taking that with. This one is an old Mary Kay shadow, which I can't open. Packaging should not be defeating me. It is... Mary Kay at play, but I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's a tricolored shadow and it's also a baked shadow. And so this is coming home with me. There might be a project coming up. Misty's already announced the Get Baked project, so we know that's gonna go in there. I'm not giving you any spoilers on that. This one, oh my God, embarrassingly bougie, but I did it. I do have one Pat McGrath palette. It's a face palette, obviously, two blushes and a highlighter. And you know what? One of these days I'll get real lights. One of these days I'll be a real grown-up, too. Don't count on it. Um, so this one I have in Minnesota. So I'm not taking this one with me, but this one is going into what's on deck for this next month. So just to clarify. Now, if you... Are susceptible to being influenced or like to purchase things thank you for watching this video and click out now if you're actually gonna stick with me I've got some cool stuff from some indie brands that I want to take home with me because there's some things that I haven't gotten around to trying yet a lot of stuff is staying here but I am an eyeshadow junkie at heart so there's a bunch of stuff that is coming home with me and I'm gonna run through a few of those because there's some stuff that I've never tried before so I did the adept cosmetics this one is the Kodan palette and even with the ring lights, I think you can get a good color view there. I got that because they did the Plain Jane Remastered. And I had never tried anything, but they'd been on my list of companies. And so when they did the Remastered, it actually had a good price on it. So I went ahead and ordered it. And I thought, while well, I'm ordering, I'll order both. Because why order one when you can order two that you're not going to get to use right away? Because that makes sense. That's how I roll. Um... I do have eyeshadow on my hand. That happens when you do eyeshadow videos. So I do have some singles from Lethal Cosmetics and they were the first Lethal formula I had ever tried. But they came out with the, what is this? The, the, night, the night Flower palette. And honestly, it arrived the day I'm filming this. So I haven't used it. Now I know that other people have in those reviews, but, um, I don't have enough knowledge of the original formula to tell you what the difference is because this was supposed to be like a new formulation to make it cheaper. Thank goodness it was cheaper and thank goodness I had discount codes because it was still expensive. But I do like the four singles I have and I really, that was another one that was kind of on my list of brands that I had wanted to try. Now there's, oh lordy, there's piles. So we're going to run through this really quick because quite frankly, I don't think you all want to be here any longer than I do. So from Necromancy, no. Not necromancy, I already told you about them. From Notoriously Morbid, they had done the Catching the Naughty palette. It was their Christmas palette. Hopefully y'all got a good look at that. But they also just came out with something that's really different for them. This is the Rose from the Dead palette. And I kind of like everything Notoriously Morbid does. So I have those. I have... Oh, what have I got... Love Lux Beauty's Pretty Powerful Palette. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I haven't had a chance to get into it yet. That's the thing. I don't have enough time in the day. I don't put on makeup enough days of the week. I don't know what my deal is, but I'm not getting to these. So if these are coming with me, these are all things that I want to get my hands into. I did get the Annette collab with Odin's Eye Giant Wolves, but they restocked Serenity in... Um, 
menagerie. So I grabbed that too. <sighs> Seriously. I grabbed that too because it was something that I was really bummed that I had missed. So when they restocked, I grabbed it. Now she does way more colorful than me, but even with a couple colors that I may or may not like in there, it was so pretty. So that's coming with. All right, well, I'm getting through most of these piles relatively quickly. Some oddball brands. I know you guys have seen my Baby Bat Beauty Dead of Winter palette because that came in right as I was doing one of my, oh, my, my palette tag video. Now, I have gotten my hands in this one just once, but it's purples, grays, and blues. That's my that's my my lane, so I'm staying in my lane. We have got Simply Posh's Icy Chill. Am I at least getting you? Okay, I think you can see. And wow, shocking. They're all shimmer shades, and there's pinks and blues and purples. Who would have thought it? Okay, Copacetic Cosmetics did a collab with M. Jones. And I've only gotten into this just a little bit once. And you know, this is all just going to look white on camera, but honestly, there's a mint green. There's some beautiful multi-chrome in there. Absolutely lovely. Metamorphosis Ba Ba palette. It's got a sheep. It's cute. It's their purple story. You see in a theme? You know how much I love my themes. Thank goodness that there's not any Bath and Body Works in this video. All right, Sugar Drizzler came out with their Butterfly palette. I know they've since come out with another one, but Butterfly is the one that set my shorts on fire, so that's the one that I ordered. And once again, kind of pinky, kind of purple, kind of green. Mm -hmm. So yeah, gotta love that one. Now, I do want to bring with a Shine by SD palette. And every time I do this, all these lovely little styrofoam circles that are keeping things from breaking keep falling out on me. Come on now. Oops, and now I made a mess, but that's okay. All shimmers. Absolutely lovely. Which is what Shine by SD is known for. So that was kind of the whole point of that. That's the reason that I wanted that one. And now I've got, I've got all these little round circles from all of these pans floating all over my counter. Like that's surprising to anybody. And somehow I managed to lose one. Oh well. I have got the Curse Love Cur Cosmetics Morticia palette. I don't know if it's actually called the Morticia palette. I think it is. No, it's the Mortician Shadow palette. It just has Gomez and Morticia on it. And it's your, your fun rainbow palette. Because... Why be, bas why be basic? If you can be a unicorn, be a unicorn. That's why I'm in that project too. <laughs> All right, and then there's just a couple basic things. My Rose Quartz and my Sydney Grace. Embarrassing as it is to admit, I have not used them. So of course they're gonna go with me. All right, that is everything. So basically I'm gonna have a suitcase full of eyeshadow palettes going home. But I did want to at least tell you what it was that I was bringing along, and then I'm going to get back to regularly scheduled programming, hopefully, with any luck, next month. And I'm sorry about switching the angles back and forth on you. I can't figure out what I like doing and what I don't like doing, so you never know what to expect from me anyway. Why should this be any different? Until next time, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me. Appreciate it if you actually watch these videos. I would love it if you subscribed. If you enjoy seeing all of my weird indie stuff, because I know that I tend to pick a lot of brands that a lot of people haven't heard of or don't know, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions about any of these brands or anything you want to know, I, I'm trying to stay kind of cruelty free. Um, trying. Trying to get some indie love for smaller brands. Trying to get some different color stories, some different textures, that kind of stuff. So if there's anything that, if you have any questions or want to leave any comments or anything like that, I always appreciate that. And until next time, see ya. Bye.